for Fred Liberatore. Thank you very much and a top of the morning to everyone here. So grateful to be here this morning. So can I see a raise of hands if anyone you know that's really stressed in the workplace right now? And keep those hands up if you know those people are actually stressed because they're inactive. Wow, that's a lot of people. So research tells us from the World Health Organization that stress is a major killer in our society today. We're so stressed that we're constantly being bombarded as workers to constantly get a return on investment for our bosses. We're constantly there to get more out of that. But what we don't realise is exercise and the benefits of mindful exercise create good releases of good stresses. So who am I and why should you listen to me? My name is Fred Liberatore. I'm an author of a book called Sweat, Swear and Smile. I've also ran two successful businesses. I've transformed hundreds of lives when it comes to changing people's view on the way they view their fitness. But what I'm mostly proud of, I'm mostly proud of my five-step system, which I call muscle sticity. Now, that's a bit of a tongue turn. What I mean by that is combining muscle with mindful exercise. So you fire up your neurons, you're in the actual exercise, and you're creating purpose. And time and time again, I see people just going to the gym, getting on a machine, and getting out. They're not moving their body from maintenance to progression. So let me take you back. It was May 2022. There I was. My 93-year-old mum called me and said, Freddy, time to get to church. So there I was at church with my mum and my brother. Later on that morning, we went to my mum's house and our bellies were full. We had a nice plate of minestrone and we had a nice glass of wine. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> but then me and my brother decided, let's go down the park for a kick of the footy. And we went down the park and lo and behold, I haven't spoken about this before, but I was a better player than he was. <laughs> Tony kicked that ball up on that tree. We didn't get it down. But what we did do is we had a heart to heart. We talked about our lives and we talked about what it is in our lives that we actually truly wanted. And in that system which I created with that muscle sticity, Tony and I put pen to paper and we created this blueprint which enabled people to win the war when it came to how they view their bodies and what they thought of their bodies. So who wants to know a little bit about my muscle sticity system and my five-step system? Great, thank you. So let me talk a bit more about it. Step one, as I said to you before, that mind-muscle connection and connecting the dots, especially when it comes to your body type. Now look, we're all time poor at the moment. We're constantly being driven down the rabbit hole when it comes to work. And as I said to you before, the bosses want a good ROI on our investment. So that mind-muscle body connection, when we train without our shoes and we connect to the ground, when we improve our grip strength, so when we're shaking someone, we got some strength behind that. These are the things that I found that have been lost in today's age. We're constantly sitting, and we know that sitting is the new smoking. Step two, we talk about nutrition. And I don't just mean eating chicken and broccoli. I mean eating for your body type and how to effectively eat for your body type and creating that 80-20 rule when 80% of your food should be nutritional and 20% recreational. So we got that, we, we allow that to ourselves. Step three, that mindfulness, bringing it back into your breath work, creating that meditation, and breathing for exercise as well as reducing stress, and how to breathe, and what to do when you do breathe. Step four 
is the result. And what I like to do is each time I train someone, I like them to do three things. I like them to sweat, swear, and smile. And the final one is the result, which we'll talk about in our workshop. So here's my challenge to you. My challenge to you is to get out of your head. Get more into your body. Trust yourself, back yourself. Become one with your body through mindfulness. Know that when you train, what you're thinking and what you're feeling is everything. So as my 93-year-old fit mother would always say to me in her heavy Italian accent, Freddy, look after your body for the first 50 years because it's going to look after you for the next 50. My name's Fred Liberatore. Thank you so much. Fred, often in, the, in these moments, uh, you know, when I'm facing a speaker, I say things to them that surprise them. Not today, not with you. Right, because it's obvious to me, it's obvious to you, it's obvious to everybody here, buddy, you can go global. Like, you're understanding, right? Yeah. You can go global. And I, I can imagine you taking your story, your program, but more importantly, you. You as an embodiment of your program out to the world. I mean, you know the space is really crowded, but what that, that fitness space is calling out for are more speakers who can focus not just on the lines of the silhouette, right? Mm -hmm. But on the whole person, right? On solving a real problem of stress through an activity. But not just the problem you're solving, again, it's the person, right? Because I have watched you just in these three days evolve as a human being. Thank you. Not just a powerful voice, but a really human one. Yeah. Now, you of all people know how much work it is to go from a C League to a B League to an A League. And if you are willing to do that work, mate, we'll do it with you. Thank you. Thank you.